Using network storage is a simple and effective way to help solve data growth issues for business and home users. And one of the first actions you may want to take when adding network storage to your environment is to migrate data that already exists in your environment, whether it's on individual computers, external hard drives, or some other network storage location. The iX4200D makes it really simple to migrate data from any of these locations using built-in copy job functionality. I'm going to show you just exactly how simple it is using a couple different scenarios. Let's start with the most simple data migration scenario, migrating data from a USB connected external hard drive. Many folks use these for expanded storage on their computers, and I'll use this external USB drive as an example. This external drive contains a number of files that I'd like to transfer to the NAS. You can see the contents of the drive here. You'll notice that there are three USB ports on the StoreCenter iX4, one in the front and two in the back. Any of these can be used for data migration. As I plug in the external hard drive, notice that the LCD display on the iX4 indicates that the drive has been recognized and is displaying a prompt asking if we would like to transfer the data from the external hard drive to the iX4. By simply pressing the button labeled yes, the data will begin copying from the external drive to the iX4. It's that simple. When the copy job completes, the LCD will show that the copy job completed successfully. You can see that this copy job is already completed and we can clear that message from the front panel. Now let's go into Windows Explorer and see that the data has been transferred. Notice that the quick transfer share on the iX4 has been mapped as a drive, in this case, drive letter T. Notice that all of the files from the hard drive are now on the iX4. The files remain on the external drive, which can now be used as expansion storage for the iX4 or some other purpose. The other data migration scenario I'll demonstrate is the case where you want to move data from an existing network share, whether on a server or another network attached storage device, to the new iX4. To set up a copy job, you'll need to identify the source data location, the destination location, and any credentials needed to access the source data. For this data migration example, I'm going to initiate the data movement using the iX4 user interface. Data transfers are set up in the copy job function. The source NAS is identified by this name, Shamu, although you can also enter the IP address of the share. Password and username go here, then I can find the specific directory that I would like to transfer. Destination will be the iX4, which is named Spock. Once you've set up the copy job, you can add parameters such as whether you want it to run based on a schedule or simply when you press the quick transfer button on the front of the iX4 like we did in the first example. I'll set this job to use the quick transfer button since I want it to run right now. Now you can see that the display is asking if we're ready to start the copy job. We are, so I'll initiate it with the push of this button. You can see the copy job progress on the front display and again an acknowledgement that the job completed successfully. Once again, let's use Windows Explorer to verify that the data was copied, and sure enough, there it is on the iX4. So I've demonstrated two very simple ways to get data migrated from either an external hard drive or a network share to the new iX4200D. That's all there is to it. iOmega Store Center devices make it easier than ever to share files, backup data, and ensure that your business stays up and running.